everyone welcome back to another video my name is Aziz and I'm a first year medical student here at Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York so I have received a few messages from my subscribers and also on Instagram regarding how I secure my acceptance into one of the top and prestigious American medical school here in the United States so today I'm gonna go over everything from day one of my immigration to this point and I'm gonna leave a timestamp down below so if you are really interested you can just jump around if you desire well in early 2015 I immigrated to the United States on a visa lottery from Benin Republic which is a French speaking country in West Africa and the reason why I actually decided to immigrate even though I was a university student back then is something I will cover another day but to cut it short I believe there was you know i believe it was a great opportunity and again most of the information i was getting was that i will be able to continue my education where i left off maybe a year after taking english lessons and demonstrate my proficiency as i said earlier i immigrated from benin which is a french-speaking country so literally i will have to learn english before engaging in anything which i quickly did in about four or five months it was one of the hardest aspects of the journey because I have never spoken English before in my life. But although I took some English grammar lessons here and there in high school, it has nothing to do with the spoken English. Fortunately, with the help of the internet and books, I was able to be fluent enough to enroll in university. Actually, there's one thing I did not mention earlier. I was indeed studying medicine back in Benin, so I was truly excited that I will continue until I learned it wasn't possible. Yes, I was told it wouldn't happen. So, yeah, I was told I would have to not only completely give up my four years of education and start over, but before I can even apply to medical school here, I will have to earn a four years bachelor's degree. That was tough. That was a rough one at that point i started considering returning back home to complete my medical education and then return as a foreign medical graduate but it wasn't the best option because i believed i will still come back and go through the same struggle of learning a new language so i decided to stay and complete all my requirements well before i continue here's a quick note Developing the skills and knowledge necessary to practice medicine here in the United States and in most countries anyways require a great deal of time and effort. So it's really necessary to research the training process and truly ask yourself if you're truly ready for this before taking the plunge, you know. So the following outline is how I got into medicine here in the United States. First, I completed an undergraduate education. So right after I made sure I could say a few words in English, I decided to enroll at a local university to earn my bachelor's degree, which usually take four years to complete. Some of my courses actually from Benin were recognized and accepted, but many were not. And I think it's due to the differences in how the French education system work. But unfortunately, even the courses that were credited were not significant to reduce the time it would take me to earn my degree. So I did spend four years at the City College of New York where I was enrolled. Medical school admissions board require all applicants to earn a bachelor's degree from accredited universities. And while there is no specific undergraduate degree recommended for all medical school applicants, biological science, biochemistry, chemistry, social sciences, psychology physical sciences were the most common i personally went for biology with a pre-medicine emphasis because of my background in science the biology major i did actually included specialized courses that develop students understanding of organic and general chemistry the fundamental of biochemistry and microbiology and core concept in human anatomy and physiology. This structured four-year course plan prepares students to take the medical college admission test. The second thing I needed to secure my acceptance into medical school was to assure that I have clinical experience. Medical experience is enormously valuable and observing physicians and understanding how they do their work on a daily basis 
actually helps students understand the challenges and reward of the medical profession and envisions themselves as a physician. So spending time with doctors also helps students clarify and solidify their goals, which will help them confirm with certainty that they actually want to pursue a career in medicine. There are actually a lot of ways to get, you know, the clinical experience you are looking for. Some common ways are volunteering in a clinic or hospital, shadowing a doctor, or even becoming an employee at a hospital. Shadowing actually entails spending time with a physician, observing their work, it can be helpful in that it allows pre-made to see what a physician do on a daily basis. Personally, I work in a hospital to gain my clinical experience. After getting a few certifications, I decided to work as a CNA, which is uh, a certified nurse assistant. I work in a nursing home with nurses and uh, providing direct care to patients. I also later work in psychiatry as a behavioral health associate where I monitor the behavior of cognitively disabled and psychiatric patients. So for me, I think having a sustained clinical experience kind of proves to both yourself and the medical school's admissions board that you have a good understanding of the medical profession and you are really committed to it. And personally, I think for me, it serves more as an inspiration and motivation because interacting with the doctors every day actually made me more determined to go after my own white cards. So the next step when you have the clinical experience figured out is to take the admission test, which is called the MCAT, Medical College Admission Test. This is actually one of the most important points that will determine if you will be admitted to medical school or not. The MCAT is the test that can make or actually break you and nearly all medical school in the United States some in Canada and also I think in Australia require an MCAT score and the admission committee use it to assess a candidate's likelihood of succeeding in their program. Most people take four to six months out to study just for this exam and I believe I spent around seven months, you know, it was, it was a really hard exam. Ultimately, it's not the only thing that determines your admission into medical school, although it's quite important. Admissions committee consider many other aspects about you, including your academic strength, exposure to healthcare, and medical research environment. So after you've taken your test and uh, you make sure that you have enough clinical experience and you've graduated with your bachelor's degree, I think it's time to apply. You submit your application, you submit a primary application, and the school you send your primary applications to will then send you a secondary application you fill that one also out and you send it back. If this school think you qualify or like you have what they're looking for, they offer you an interview. If you go to the interview and then you did well, then they offer you an acceptance letter. Basically, that's all you need to do to get an admission to medical school here in the United States. And uh, that's what I did. It was hard. It's definitely not an easy one, especially when you have to learn a new language and then, you know, just get used to a new system because where I was coming from the French system it's totally different from this American system but I'm truly grateful that things worked out and um, yeah I I'm really excited to see where it takes me you know um, so if you have any question or if you need more details or perhaps I didn't give enough information and you really need more details just leave a comment down below and i will really be happy to you know reply to you or perhaps you can just you know hit me up on instagram and send me a direct message on my instagram um thank you so much for your time and uh, i'll see you in another video thank you